Okay, so uh, we're going to continue on here. Now, looking at this uh, joint, the joints uh, from the top view of the hand, I'm noticing a couple problems here right off the bat. Uh, the first one is, and I'm going to go ahead and fix it, is that uh, our joints in the finger are completely straight. So uh, this joint here needs to be straight. All of our fingers, um, they might uh, rotate from the knuckle joints, but they are straight. So... Um, now, what you want to do when you're creating these, I'm just do a little test here or a little demo, is when you s click on the f and create the first joint, hold down the shift button, and that's going to keep all of your joints. Whoops, don't you know? Keep it close there. Um, that's going to keep all of your joints lined up um, perfectly. So uh, anyway, um, I didn't really do that, so I'm going to go back in and fix these, and I haven't done my orientation yet, so no big deal. But uh, I'm going to make sure that these are all straight. And uh, this is kind of a loose, uh, well, I'm going to re, I still need to re-topo this mesh. So anyways, just using this as a base mesh. Uh, the second thing we absolutely positively have to do is we have to have a bend in this elbow. And the bend is there for the, it needs to be there for the IK chain. So I'm going to go ahead and move uh, the elbow. And yeah, it's not centered, uh, but I'm going to move that back so that we have a nice, um, obvious bend uh, in this joint chain between the shoulder and the wrist so super important and uh, you get doing demos and trying to get in between the edge loops and everything and so I do want to stay in between well I got three edge loops there so um, yeah I'll probably stay just about like that anyway uh, I'm gonna fix this hand. I'm gonna pause this fix this hand uh, and then we'll go into naming the uh, leg and the spine. Okay, so I've got these all uh, perfectly straightened out. Um, now, uh, a couple other notes. Just make sure that this last joint is either at the end of the finger or midway or past. This one's very close here, but it's middle. I could certainly move this out a little bit. But uh, I typically put that you know, right at the end of the finger, kind of like that. Um, and I am going to go through, I just wanted to show this last part. I'm going to go ahead and use a rotate on here. And I'm just going to rotate this finger around. Just like that. And uh, before I move away, I'm going to go ahead and freeze transformations. I've got a key up here, make sure my uh, rotations are zeroed out. And go ahead and do the same thing. Just a little rotation here on the pinky. That's for the heck of it. And freeze transformations. And then I go back through and go down to the lowest joint and just check my rotations here and all the way through. And I usually I'll go ahead and do this for all my joints individually just to make sure I didn't get anything rotated in the system. Now again, this um, is this line, this joint chain is very parallel. It's very straight. I'm not going to try and line that back up. Um, I will <laughs> go ahead and Rotate it back a little bit. Oops. I'm going to pause it. I don't know why I'm locked out here. Just zoomed out too far. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and rotate that back so my tip lines up. And uh, like I said, this is the model. So I'll go ahead and fix the model here at some point too. And uh, I'm going to freeze transformations. Go down to the lowest joint and check my rotations again. Okay, so I'm all zeroed out. I'll just double check the thumb. Looks good. Okay, same with the palm. And might as well work my way up just since I'm doing it. Okay, all zeroed out. Okay. So, moving on. Perspective view. Now, I'm purposefully uh, leaving these on dis disconnected right now um, from the... Uh, uh, from the spine, and I don't have a root joint yet. Like I said, I was going to create a root joint. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name these uh, the spine, spinal column. And since they're in the middle, they're center joints, I'm just going to leave them blank and just go ahead and spine underscore A, underscore JNT. And I'm going to go down the chain. Whoops. Copy that. And down the chain we go. And title is B. Again, I'm going to pause this while I rename this chain. I'll stop at the neck. And um, 
uh, re-record here. So. Okay, so I got the spine um, labeled off or named off. So I'm starting with spine A joint. As I go down the chain, I'm looking for rotations, and I'm just going to give you a quick show. C joint, D, E, F, G, H. And this next joint up here, I'm going to title neck joint. Neck, J, and T. And this joint is the jaw. And jaw tip. Oops, okay, so sorry, that's the head joint. This is the jaw joint and head tip, we'll give it. Or forehead, let's call it forehead. 